Now from this Roderick's formula, we can find out the Legendre polynomial, the value of p0, 1, p0, uh, p1 of x, p2 of x, etc. We can just uh, substitute uh, for p0 x, substitute uh, z, 0 here, 2, 0, here 0 factorial, 0, then we'll get 1, then um, p1 of x. Instead of n, we can put substitute 1 here, then x, then p2 of x is uh, 1 by 2, 3x, 3x square minus 1, and p3x, p4x, p5x. And I'm plotting uh, the value of p0 here. Uh, then this, this uh, graph is for p1, p1, and this is for p2, and this is for p3. Next, uh, generating function of uh, generating function of pn of x. Generating function of pn of x. Um, Okay, show that Pn of x is the coefficient of z raised to n in the expansion of 1 minus 2xz plus z square raised to minus 1 by 2. So, this is our generating function of Pn of x. Proof, we have uh, 1 minus 2xz plus z square raised to minus 1 by 2 can be written as 1 minus z into 2x minus z raised to minus 1 by 2. And we, this is in the form of this is in the form of one minus x raised to minus one by two. So we can expand like this: one plus one by two z into two x minus z plus one by two into three by four z square two x minus z square plus etc. Okay, plus this term and uh, this term. Okay, and the coefficient of z raised to n. So first uh, we can take uh, this term. From this, the coefficient of z raised to n is this one: one into three into five etc. Up to two n minus one by 2 into 4 into 6 plus etc up to 2 n into 2 x raised to n so from this from this every term contains 2 so i took a 2 raised to n common then the remaining term is 1 into 3 into uh, 1 into 2 into 3 etc that is n factorial here 2 raised to n and 2 raised to n can be cancelled then we will get the equation number one now from this equation from this term from this term the, i wrote here this that term Okay, here the last term can be expanded like this, that is 2x raised to n minus n minus 1, 2x raised to n minus 2 into z. Here 1 z, that means z raised to 1, here z raised to n minus 1, both will combine and we will get z raised to n. So we can write the coefficient of z raised to n as 1 into 3 into 5 etc up to 2n minus 3 by 2 raised to n minus 1. Here I took the common factor as 2 raised to n minus 1. Then 1 into 3 into 2 into 3 etc. up to n minus 1. Here minus n minus 1. Uh, minus n minus 1. Um, okay. Hmm. Minus n minus 1, 2x raised to n minus 2. So now I'm introducing 2n minus 1 by n into n by 2n minus 1 in this equation. Then this equation can be right like this. Then, uh, okay. Okay, then combining, uh, okay. And then next, uh, Next step is, okay, here 1 into 3 into 2 into 3, etc. up to n. So that is n factorial. Then I got uh, equation number 2. Now I'm we can combine equation number 1 and 2. This equation number 1, that is the coefficient of z raised to n from this term. And next equation 2 is this, that is the coefficient of z raised to n from this term. Okay, we got two equations and we can combine the both equations. Then we'll get... 1 into 3 into 5 plus etc up to 2n minus 1 by n factorial as a common. 2 into 2n minus 1 into n minus 2. This is actually what is a function. Okay. You can just uh, um, uh, go through the previous uh, video. Okay. So this is actually the legendary function. Thus, we can say that in the expansion of 1 minus 2x plus z square raised to minus 1 by 2, the coefficient of z0, z, z raised to 0, z1, z square, z cube, etc. will be p1 of x, p2 of x, p3 of x, etc. Hence, we can write 1 minus 2x plus z square raised to minus 1 by 2. This, we can expand like this. Okay. 
then 1 minus 2 xz plus z square raised to minus 1 by 2 is I am coming form that is summation n is equal to 0 to infinity z raised to n p n of x. Now from this here we can put n is equal to 1 sorry uh, x equal to 1 x equal to 1 then we will get p n of 1 is equal to 1 just to put x equal to 1 okay. Uh, we have to prove this show that p n of 1 is equal to 1 from this generating function okay here we can put x equal to 1 then this equation is 1 minus 2 z plus z square raised to minus 1 by 2 so 1 minus 2 z plus z square can be written as 1 minus z square and all raised to minus 1 by 2 which is equal to summation n is equal to 0 to infinity z raised to n p n of 1 instead of x i put 1 okay then this one 2 and a minus 1 by 2 combined then we will get minus 1 here so 1 minus z raised to minus 1 is equal to uh, summation n is equal to 0 to infinity z raised to n p n of 1 and 1 minus z raised to minus 1 can be expanded like this that is 1 plus z plus z square plus z cube plus etc up to z raised to n and this term is the summation is actually 1 into here 1 means z 0 z raised to 0 okay z raised to 0 p 0 1 z p 1 of 1 z square p 2 of 1 etc because I put p1 uh, x equal to 1 that is all the term condensed p1 p1 now equating the coefficient of z raised to n on the either side we will get pn of 1 is equal to 1 again show that pn of minus x equal to minus 1 raised to n pn of x okay we can prove this from the generating function that is generating function is 1 minus 2 xz plus z square raised to minus 1 by 2 which is equal to summation over n is equal to 0 to infinity z raised to n pn of x okay this equation number 1 and we can substitute in in terms of in terms of x okay in all the terms of x i put minus x instead of here minus x then that equation number 1 become 1 plus here minus x is here also here minus x then plus 1 plus 2 x plus x square raised to minus 1 by 2 is equal to summation n is equal to 0 to infinity z raised to n pn of minus x instead of x i put minus x then substituting minus z for z in equation 1 again in this equation 1 instead of minus instead of z i put minus minus sorry instead of z i put minus z okay then that equation number one become one plus two x z plus z square raised to minus one by two summation n is equal to zero to infinity minus z raised to n into p n of x which is equation number three so equation number two and equation number three we can compare the lhs side are equal this term is equal to summation over this term now comparing the coefficient of z raised to n then we will get p n of minus x equal to minus 1 raised to n p n of x okay hence proved so if you have put the if if you if you put uh, 1 instead of x then p n of minus 1 is equal to minus 1 raised to n into p n of 1 